Beep, 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 beep. Ah. Welcome to Jester Extra. <laughs> I had to do it. It's late. I'm about to teach as well. My American, my American warrior teacher tonight, so I'm very excited. Right, everything you need is in the Dubris, okay? So here we go. Lloyd Russell Moyle. Well, somebody, a personage, <laughs> has come across this and you've got to hear it. <laughs> this is a Lloyd Russell Moyle. That's the bloke that had to go at, you know, the female MP, isn't it? That bloke, that screaming bloke, okay? <sighs> right, and this is Lloyd Russell Moyle, on the way back machine, where I found it, link of the doobers. <sighs> From a blog that he wrote in 2009, right? Beware, thy sins will find you out. So here we go. I'm Lloyd, I'm Lloyd Russell Moyle. <laughs> I'm Marion Coatsworth Hay. And if you get that, and I'm, I'm really impressed. Right, I'm Lloyd Russell Moyle, chair of the Woodcraft Folk. <laughs> which is a progressive education movement in the UK. We are part of the International Falcon Movement, Socialist Education International. This is pure Paolo Freire, right? Pure activist education. These, it still exists in Woodcraft Folk, go have a look. We affirm identities. Right, okay. I've worked in the student union as the president and secretary treasurer, blah, blah, blah. I'm the treasurer for the Education Not For Sale Network, which is an anti-capitalist network of student activists. 2009, right? On Wednesday, 29th of April, 2009, he wrote, Queer Easter, has 10 years of being queer been so great? This year was my fifth Queer Easter as we celebrated 10 years of a queer seminar that may not be so queer, but act, but act as, a, as a critical friend to queer. I don't mean that the seminar has been swamped by straight people. Dread the thought, brackets, close brackets. I think, although not around, that 10 years ago, when Queer Easter was set up, it's 11 years really, but we forgot about the first one as it, as it wasn't international, brackets, close brackets. The word queer was chosen as much as a provocation and marketing tool as a basis on queer theory. There you go. The word queer was chosen as much as a provocation and marketing tool as a basis on queer theory. And if you remember, queer theory is to break down the barriers, including the ones between adult and child. What the hell do you mean by queer theory, Russell? Lloyd? Moily? <laughs> right, okay. Ten years ago, queer theory was this new exciting theory. Well, actually, it wasn't. It was it had been around a long time before that. Something that has just been developed and explored. Ten years on and queer looks a bit like another tired postmodernist theory which people either don't understand or contradicts itself so much that it becomes useless. You think? <laughs> queer, for those of you who don't know, is effectively a postmodernist, post-structuralist theory. Well, that's great. That explains it to your average man and woman. <laughs> It joins the debate as an opposition to identity as it is perceived through constructionist, nurture, and essentialist, nature, views. It says that your gender and sexual identity is for sure, is, is for sure created, but more than that, it doesn't matter. Forget what you are, but it's what you do. Confused yet? Brackets, close brackets? Yeah! Russell, Lloyd, Moley. Most of us are confused. Moley, not Moley. Somebody else started Putting it another way, some argue that your identity is made up from what you do and construct it. And others say your identity is essentially you and you do things because of your identity. <laughs> well, queer theory comes along and says, fuck you. That just do. You just do. Your identity is something that is just made up and all we should focus on is what you do. And seeing that what you do is fluid, depending on the time and space that we inhabit... So is our sexuality, gender and sex. <laughs> He's in the Sky's Parliament. <laughs> and he's wandering around Westminster as well, right. It all sounds great, liberating for many, but it has some unexpected consequences. For example, many of the LGBT liberation movement have argued, we are what we are, we are born gay, etc., in a bid to fight discrimination. If suddenly we turn around and say, well, actually, we are not born like this, but choose or act like this, 
the whole non-discrimination argument, or none, as he's written, the non-discrimination argument starts to go out the window. It starts to sound not no so great. Also start to shove in their whole idea about normalisation. And unless you like being different, then the whole queer thing starts to look less and less attractive. For the first time in many years, I think that a number of participants started to get this. As well as a whole media working group looking critically at queer, we also had morning workshops focusing on the issue. This is written by a queer, person, queer theorist. I don't understand it. You can have a go. Tell me what you think. I would argue that we still need to embrace queer, but as a process, not at the end. As with much in postmodern theory, the critique of the world around us academically, but it fails to put an alternative. We deconstruct identity. In fact, much of our world we live in and are left with a pile of rubble. He knows. He knows what he's doing. Humans need a social construction to make this confusing world a bit easier to understand, to live in. Identity is important for struggles, but also, surely, surely I think that's supposed to be, as, as socialists, we need to be critical of the bourgeois social construction that we live in today. 2009. We need to deconstruct our lives and our society, and I believe that queer theory is a great way to do that. exactly what he's doing. <laughs> However, if we stop there, then it's a pretty empty and lonely world. You bet! <laughs> if there is no narrative to our actions, then we have no historical and political perspective to put things to, into we are effectually as a global society. I can't, it's just impossible to read. We need to create another narrative, so I guess we need queer theory, just as a path to something else. That something else? Socialism. <laughs> Ah, ah, just as a path to something else, socialism. Well, that's for another day, he says. Well, well, Lloyd, it can be safely said that you've given away the bank in your own blog. <laughs> Get it out there, folks, because this is gorgeous. I'll see you all later. Time to teach. Ta-da!